Hello, welcome to quantitative reasoning solution section. And today we have quantitative reasoning from Lantern Step Book 6, page 16. Ex Example B. Thank you for joining in today. And to our new viewers, please do well to subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and mathematics problems. Okay, so and to our subscribers thank you for staying with us okay so we have this example we have 91 7 squared 13 62 and here we have 63 9 squared 7 88 and the last example we have 39 3 squared 13 and 22 so we're going to be solving this so stay with us so to find 91 here we are going to have square root of 7 squared okay now square root of 7 squared to calculate this you simply the squared is going to cancel out the square root more like dividing each other and you're going to have your 7 left okay so square root of 7 squared times 13 so here we have our 7 left times our 13 and that will give us 91 okay so to find 7 we have 91 divided by 13 that will give us 7 okay so we're going to we're actually looking for 7 squared so 91 divided by 13 is 7. So when you square 7, you have your 7 squared. You're not expected to expand or calculate it to the end. So to find 13, we're going to have square root of 7 squared. And when you calculate square root of 7 squared, now in the rule of mathematics, square root will cancel out the square in this case. So square here will cancel out our square root. So we have our 7. Okay. So for our 7, we then have 91 divided by the 7. You have your 13. Okay. You can as well decide that you pick out the 7. Or whichever digit you have there without the square so to find 62 we have 7 squared plus 13 so square 7 squared here is 49 plus 13 that gives us 62 okay so we're going to be looking out solving another example to see what it gives to us so to find 39 we're going to have square root of 3 squared square here cancel out our square root and we're left with 3 so times our 13 and we have 3 times 13 we have our 39 and to find 3 we have 39 divided by 13 that gives us 3 and when you square your 3 we have you have your 3 squared to find 13 we have our square root of 3 squared because we want to get a number so when you divide square cancels out the square root so we have our 39 divided by the 3 here we have 13 and to find 22 3 squared plus 13 3 squared is 9 plus 13 we have a 22 okay so in cases like this you can choose to pick out the number alone without the squared but we are actually trying to follow the rules of rules in mathematics so that you understand that square root can cancel out square 
and you will be left with this okay don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and mathematics problems bye bye